Hey guys, it's your boy Rich. Today I'm going to be answering a question that I received in the comment section of one of my YouTube videos. The question I received is from Mark Bilbeni Villa. And Mark is asking, could you help this Catalan journalist? How can I make video project with specific time in Premiere? I mean, one minute or 30 seconds, no more or less. Well, good news, Mark. In this video today, I'm going to answer this question for you and all the people out there that are wondering the same thing. And if you guys have questions for me for Premiere or for how I film my videos or anything of the sort, just don't hesitate to ask it in the comment below. I really love when you guys are commenting out there and when you are liking my video and it actually helps. So I really appreciate that and I'm happy to answer any question you may have. All right, let's get into the tutorial right now. Alrighty, once you're in the premiere and then you already have your footage, so this is one of my footage right now, it's just one video. First, you want to create the sequence from your clip. Um, if you're not familiar with that, just make sure to check out videos online that show you how to create sequence and so on, or maybe watch some tutorial about premiere. But this is a pretty basic step. Once you do that, you'll notice that your sequence has an audio track and then a video track, and you'll notice an area over here that is called the work area. So your work area right now is ending at 1 minute and 44 seconds. So if you want to set up a limit on your video, you want to change the length of your work area. Because when you're rendering your video, it's going to be rendered based on the length of the work area. So for 1 minute, for example, I'll have to zoom in until I figure out where 1 minute is. And I'll stop my video exactly at 1 minute. For example, if we keep going, I think it's ending right here. Let's zoom in to make sure that we're not missing any second. And I think that's it. We have it. Once I've set up my work here, my video is going to stop at one minute exactly if I'm rendering. But then I also have the ability to reshape the size of my video to make sure that it ends exactly at one minute. You'll notice I've already turned the time code here. If you want to visualize the time code on your application you just have to go in window and click on time code and it's going to appear right here and you can drag and drop it wherever you want it so i just added that so that i can visualize exactly when the video is ending and i'm going to double check that it's ending exactly where we want it to end and as you can see it's ending at exactly one minute so before i show you an example i'm going to make sure to turn off and mute the sound just pay attention to the time code over here and see how the video is going to stop at exactly one minute. Bam, there you go. This is how you set up a limit on your video for exactly one minute. And if you want to do that for 30 seconds, it's exactly the same step. You just have to reduce the size of the footage. In this context, it's probably going to be half the size of what we had and keep zooming in until we find 30 seconds. 30 seconds is over there. Just in case I'm not missing any millisecond, I'm gonna zoom in. And as you can see, if I click here, the time code here is going to indicate that it's exactly 30 seconds. So again, all I have to do now is reducing my footage to that size and I'm good to go. And there you go, you have a footage for exactly 30 seconds. When you're going to be rendering your video, your video is gonna be rendering the work area. So if you click export and select media, and once you are on the screen where you can actually render your, your footage, if you take a look over here, it says exactly 30 seconds, and this is the duration of the output file. So the video that you're going to render is going to be exactly 30 seconds. As you can see, this is not as complicated as this look, and if you want to do that with multiple footage, you can use that base footage as your main footage and move all the file into the same folder and kind of like drag and drop all the file that you want to add until they stay within the limit of the work area. How was that? That wasn't too bad, right? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've been on my YouTube channel before, you know that I like to make tutorials that are straight to the point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumb up if you like this video and comment below if you have additional questions or if you would like me to answer another question in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.